If you want to rank in Google, you need content, you need good content. And in this video, I'll teach you exactly what I do. I'll teach you how to create a blog post, an article from start to finish. Let's jump into it. So we're gonna use a real life example. We're gonna use my website, bopple.com. This is the content hub. This is where all the keywords are. I'm gonna pick one of the keywords that have yet to be written and I'm gonna show you exactly how to write it. So how do index annuities work? This has yet to be written. Anything in green here means that it's been posted to the website. Anything that has not, you know, have ha, does not have a hyperlink on it means no one's worked it yet. So let's work this one. What I would do, I would take the keyword, push it to Google. This is my standard operating procedure. I'm giving you everything here. I control click on the first five uh, or so results. Now at the same time, we're going to have a um, Google Doc open just for you know being ready. Let's put the keyword up here so we know what we're working on. And then here's the key. You have a tool up here, it's called SEO Meta in one click. It's gonna allow us to grab the headers and we're gonna dump them in here. Let's grab the headers here. So these are all the competitors. Make sure you do not um, grab anything that is, you know, like, look, 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 look. There's some stuff here. Thanks for your feedback. How can we improve this page? We don't want those things. We just want, you know, what is actually of the article it, from the H1 down. There we go. So we're just dumping all of these, all five of them, into our spreadsheet. Okay. Now we're going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT. All right, new chat. Please take these keywords and take off the header markings. Now we're going to say take these and organize them in a fashion that is logical for a viewer on a website to start reading and working down. Doesn't really make sense what I just said, but it's a robot. We'll see how it does. That's the gist. You want them to organize it. You want ChatGPT to organize this. Okay, so this is what it spit out. It gave us a suggested organization, a logical order for a website viewer would be. So let's take all of it and look at it. So we're gonna take away these. We know that everything here is the top five articles that Google shows that is you know working. Um, so here we go. Now we know exactly what to write. Now what's the next step? So before we get into the next step, I'm gonna ask you subscribe to the channel. I wanna get one trillion. I wanna be the first person ever to get one trillion subscribers. So please hit that like button and subscribe. The next step is to copy and paste the first portion indexed annuities definition how it works and say write about this in a manner that is as if talking to someone who doesn't understand insurance jargon this will um, dumb it down make it better lower reading level uh, overall i think that's a good thing so here's the output let's look at it in google docs copy and paste control and do that thing to wipe out the uh the markdown or whatever it's called. Let's read it. Let's see how it did. I'm not going to do in summary. So have you ever heard of an index annuity and wondered what it is? Well, an index annuity is a type of insurance product that can provide you with a guaranteed income stream for the rest of your life. It's a bit like a savings account, but with a few key differences. So how does it work? That's really good pros. This is like human pros. When you purchase an index annuity, you're essentially given an insurance company lump sum of money, blah, blah, blah. This is all perfect. But here's the next part. We're going to do a key takeaways. Um, now keep in mind, because this is in the same conversation that we started, we're going to ask it, please write a one column key, uh, key takeaway table for this article. Okay, here we go. This is good. We're going to copy and paste the key takeaways. I have a table I'm going to show you for the website that looks really nice, key takeaways. So we're going to go here, boom, boom, make all these right. So with bopple.com, I was able to do a custom CSS and have real pretty key takeaways. So check this out. So here's a key takeaway. So this is how do variable annuities work. This is a huge article, 26 minutes of reading, but this is the table we just created. This is how it's gonna render on the website. So not hard to do. We take this away here. So this here probably would be a photo. We put a photo right here. Uh, this would be the introduction. We make sure 
that this here, we take that out. The title would be the title. It's not capitalized, but we're not going to waste time there. And then we get into these, understanding index annuities. And then all of these, remember, were based upon the headers of our competitors. This is what we'll do. We're going to ask it right in a concise way on these subjects, making sure to speak as if talking to someone who doesn't understand, yet again, insurance jargon. So it's going to spit out this, these bullet points, which is fine. We can take it all here and dump it. Take off all the rendering. Now we're going to ask it for each individual topic. Write a brief on this using the same tone as before. And it gives us a nice spit out here. This would be a nice intro. So this could be our H2, and this could be an H3. Um, we're going to ask it now, write an intro on this to help users understand the subsequent portions of the article. Now, what we're going to do now is reword headers. We're going to ask it, well, we can do this manually rather, we're going to reword headers as we go along. What is an index annuity? Um, we could say the definition of an index annuity. You always want to keep the keywords in there to some degree. You don't want to butcher that. So we know this is going to be H3. So we have it nested and nested well. The reason I like bullet points, if it's going to give it to us, you know, people want to read things quickly. It's a good user experience. So right here. Boom. So the first H2 should always relate to the H1. Kind of like a rewording of the H1, the first H2 is. And then we get into the bulk of it, the definition of index annuities, how index annuities work. Read on this. And as I work ChatGPT, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, Edit in this. So far, we have an article that's 970 words. As you can see, if we were to build this out, um, it would be many, many, many more words. Fairly easily, right? Not too hard. So I would do in 2023 or something. How index annuities work in 2023. And we're going to space it out, make it look nice. I don't like how uh, ChatGPT does overall. I take those out often. Um, so let's just rinse and repeat this. Write a brief on. So once you understand the flow and how we get the keywords that we're writing an article, it's not terribly hard. Not hard to do at all. The magic comes in for keyword research, which was done prior. Um, you know, we have the keyword research done here in the content hubs. So interlinking and content hubs really matter. Uh, now, there's going to be some other tricks we're going to go into here, but for now, this is the process. So we're just going to continue on until we have this all built out. First portion is done, right? It's about 1,300 words. It looks good. Now we have all these other portions we could dive into, but here's the trick. We need to see which ones we would have to delete because we don't want to have the same content in an article. We want it to be very, very close to the key. How do they work? How do index annuities work, right? It needs to be, okay, understanding them, the definition, how they work in 2023, yield and cap rates. This is all good, adjusted values. Then it would come how they work, right? That's kind of, we're going over the same stuff here. So ChatGPT is not perfect in this. I would go through here and pick out which ones that I would want to keep, which ones I want to delete. Uh, the benefits and drawbacks, um, these are all good things, but this could be an own separate uh, article. We don't want to have too much article drift. That means we're going away from the, the main keyword too much. Index annuity features, these could be good. So you need to understand when you get all these headers, pick out the ones that matter the most to this, to the, to the main keyword. Now let's push this to the website and see how it looks. And then we're going to revise it and make it better. Copy and paste everything we have. Great. So we know that this keyword is very specific, um, meaning that we did keyword research to find 
all of our keywords, and I, and I like keeping the exact phrasing. Um, so let's see here. This is the custom table. So what I have here is custom CSS. You can't see it because my head's in the way, but what I'm able to do is with this one, I type in uh, takeaway table, and that will become a really pretty thing here shortly. You'll see that. Now, moving down, we click this button to look at our headers to make sure they make sense. Title, H2, H3, nested under. They look good. Uh, will these render well? The bullet points, we're going to find out. What I would do, I would come in here and start doing things like this. Bump outs. To kind of distinguish different portions and doing some highlighting. Bump outs to make the user experience better. So now this is this is nice. Let's preview it. It's not going to look great on my previews because the sidebar always screws up on previews. But when we... Here's the key takeaways. That looks really nice. Uh, I need to fix the header though. And then that's a little messed up there too. When it goes live, it all looks perfect. But the bullet points look great. The bump outs look great. Let's keep working on it. So this has to have a header section here. Key takeaways. All right. Delete this row. That's going to look much better now. What I want to do, let's jump back to ChatGPT. I'm going to ask it to do something here. Let's highlight all of this prior to the one table. So this is our key takeaway table. I'm going to say, uh, create a easy to view table to understand these concepts for the article. So let's see what it does. Back to the Google Doc. I want to create one or two more tables. Um, Let's take this. How indexed annuities work in 2023? I'm going to ask it, please write a table that summarizes this. Use new info that we haven't talked about yet. And this is what it spit out. It's not bad. It's kind of long, um, but it is a quick glance thing. Let's see how it renders. I kind of like it. Let's do this. What we could do, we could bump out, we could bold these benefits, drawbacks. Let's see how that does in a bit. So now we have the basis of an article. I would do a conclusion here. So conclusion. Make it an H2. Um, write a conclusion for this article. And the same voice. As that's going, we'll continue to work. What we need to do is get a photo now. Uh, once we get the photo, I'll show you how I work it up and how I optimize it. So I like to use deposit photos. That's one of the ones. And what I like to do is get the small size download. So our demographic is older people. Uh, and I like happy images, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to download this. Wait a second. Then we're going to push it to a tool, a free tool. So what I've done, I've imported this into XN Convert. I'll have the link in the description. Very easy tool to use. The output we want is WebP. WebP is the most optimized type of picture. And I can push this down to say, you know, 45 kilobytes. I never want anything above 100 kilobytes. It's just a waste. Um, so let's convert it. And then let's look at it. It was 665 kilobytes to begin. Very, very big file. And now it's 43 kilobytes. We've saved 93%. This helps our website speed. Now you'll notice there's two versions of the file here. There is um, the first one, and then there's the optimized one. But what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we put some keywords as the file name. This matters. The file name itself matters too. So we know the article is how annuities work in today's world. Let's just do that. Okay, good. That's done. Now we get to import it to the article. To import to the article right here, we're going to add, boom, image. Grab the one that we had. Make sure it's full size. See here to the right, full size. That's great. We're going to center it. We're going to do alt text. How do annuities work? In today's world, we could say retirees uh, playing a game of foosball. And then how do index annuities work in today's world? Good. That's done. Uh, this is a bad intro. So ChatGPT did this for us. This is bad. Have you ever heard of an index annuity and wonder what it is? Uh, it is a type of insurance product that can provide with a guaranteed income stream, blah, blah, blah. 
it's 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 bad because it doesn't answer the question succinctly. So I would take this, answer this question in three sentences. Okay, this is what ChatGPT gave us. It's much better. Index annuities work by providing investors with a guaranteed name industry, da da da, such as so. Right to the point. Much, much, much better. I want to answer the article uh, query immediately. Don't bury it. Just give it to us. Um, so we could revise this a bit. Do, do. This is good. And we're on into the article. Boom. We have this big one. Remember that. And conclusion. We forgot the conclusion. All right. We're going to do this, revise it a bit. Now, the title and the slug and the meta, these all matter big time. Uh, I like keeping the slug the exact same as the, uh, the keyword. So I would do how do a new indexed annuities work 2023. For the title, you can have a year. Don't put the year in the slug because it doesn't make it evergreen. Every year, at the beginning of the year, I'll go through and I'll make these 2024, um, 2025, and what have you. So for this, uh, want to know how indexed annuities work. This article is written by a licensed insurance agent and goes into detail about indexed annuities. Boom. So we want to hit the keyword a few times, if possible, make it natural. That's good. It looks good. That's how it's going to render on Google. Very happy with that. I can see I'd noticed that the category was wrong. We have to make it annuities. Very good. So what I would do next, I would go through the article and revise. Make sure it's factual. I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, Make sure I'm switching up headers. Um, we were just using the competitor stuff as inspiration, and we change it, um, change the headers themselves as we go along. Yield, yields and rate caps for indexed annuities, an opportunity to have our keyword in there, uh, and indexed annuities. It's very specific, right? We're talking about a specific thing here. So right now, the article is 1,300. In 91 words, very easy to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push it live and let's see how it looks. Okay, this is the live post now. How do index annuities work? We're looking good, looking good. Key takeaways, looking good. We have our call to action right there. This is going to be sticky here shortly. Today's best annuity rates. Um, that looks really nice. I'll jump to that later. The definition, I can read this, you know, as a human, it feels good. Okay, I'm not, my eyes are not glossing over because it's too much text. Um, how index annuities work in 2023. Look, that's not bad, right? That table's not bad. I don't mind that. And so on and so forth. I automatically put this infographic in every uh, annuity article. And we're good. So how hard was that? But what are the next steps? What I'll do next is this. I want some backlinks or external links rather. So what we'll do is we'll grab the definition of index annuities. We're going to grab a header, an H3 header here. Something I know that's going to work and you'll understand in a second. We're going to go to Google and we're going to say site. So we're going to go to Google and do site.edu and then the keyword. There's a reason we do .edu. It's only going to give us educational websites. So law.cornell has a beautiful article on annuities. And they're a .edu and it's Cornell Law. So what I'm going to do uh, is this. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to say open a new tab. And all of a sudden, we have a beautiful external link that Google sees. Oh, they're just not, you know, insulated to themselves. They are considering outside sources. Great. So we can rinse and repeat. So I'll take how index annuities work and do it again. We have, I don't know, ccrrbc.edu. 
web archive. Let's see if this is any good. I don't like leaking to PDFs if possible. We have a thesis here, another PDF. Investor tips, the variable, that's variable annuities. Let's look at this one, is it another PDF? So nothing really good there. We could do site index annuities, see if we can grab one more EDU. And the reason we do EDU is because they're not really competition. They're not trying to get, you know, up in the search results usually. And it shows that we consider the experts in the field. So it's a way to, to give external links without giving external links to our competition. So what is this? Financial advice for women or index annuities really as good as they are made to sound to be. I may take this. I would probably do a search on the URL, the actual website to see in Ahrefs how they are, but assuming that we take this. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, we could do a whole phrase there. It's fine. And so on and so forth. So that's how we're able to build out an article quickly. We even have external links now. Altogether, this took 10 or so minutes. I would go back and, and adjust all of this to make sure it's all factual. And I'd probably put, you know, a few of my own words in, for instance, you know, coming in here, the returns you receive on your index annuity are based upon the performance of a stock market index like the S&P 500. Uh, one of the key benefits is that indexed annuities have a floor, meaning that funds never are below the initial principle you put it. Opposed to stocks, bonds, mutual funds, etc. So it's not good English there, right? And that's kind of purposeful. Like this here, a robot probably, AI would never put that in. And that's good. We want things like this. We, w we want things not to be perfect. I like bold and things. I like coming through and making the user's eye go to different places. This is important too. It shows Google that, okay, this is not just one click AI type of stuff. And I'm happy with it. So I hit update. Let's view post. Good. Let's just go. This cap is called a cap rate. My eyes go right there, right? I'm sure yours do too. They do come with some drawbacks. Now I'm interested. I want to read more. Key takeaways. I could dive into that. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's do this. Now keep in mind also, um, before I do this, now keep in mind, I would have probably, remember we had all these things? I would have grabbed more. This article would have been bigger. I would have grabbed things that are pertinent to here without having too much article drift. Um, but for the sake of this video, you know, this works just fine. So I put in a table of contents. I can choose to go down to H3, H2, H4. Depending upon the article, I go max H3, makes it look nice, update, let's look at it, great, very nice, because we have set call to action such as the infographic, as well as this one here, um, it kind of builds it out too, it helps, you know, the tables and everything help too, everything is working in tandem. Now, if we were to come here, this is this article here, how do index annuities work? This eventually would be interlinked with this one here, as well as this one here, and push back up to equity indexed annuities. Nothing here is built out yet, so I can't do the internal links, but something I can do, but I only do this in the last part, but I'll show you now, I can do this, this is kinda cool. I can add inbound links immediately. Um, this is, what was this, Link Whisper? Yeah. Indexed annuities. Search for keyword. Search. This is coming from best annuities that protect your initial investment. I could do that. Uh, 
Is that just index annuities? So there's a difference, fixed indexed and indexed annuities, right? Just get two of them. So it shows Google everything is wrapped up pretty good. So what I would do, I would have everything here tied together in a very organized fashion, and then I would come back to the article um, and tie it up with natural leaks in the content through Link Whisper. Another way to do it is this. This will show you outbound links at the bottom here. So everything here, instead of clicking add inbound links, I can go down here and push outbound links. What I like to do is only show links in this category, so annuities. So it's only annuity, see category annuity. This, this tool is very, very good. Um, but you have to go through here. Annuities can also provide, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's like 50, not even 50, 50, 20% of these make sense. Uh, you need to make sure whenever you see this here, this is in a table. You don't want to do a link here for a table because it will break the table. I've learned that the hard way. Uh, how safe? We could do that one. And then it's in. The anchor tag is not perfect, but just for demonstration, I'm going to put that in there. So now, all of a sudden, we have an article that looks nice. It's refined. 80-20 rule. We can make it better and better by building it out, going in and putting you know more things like this with your own words in there. But not bad for you know 10, 15 minutes worth of work. But I want to show you one more thing. This is something cool we did on the website recently. The best MIGA annuity rates for March 2023. This is different than the blog posts, right? This is it has to be updated every month with new rates. But this is like a magnet, a money page. That shows the 10 best annuity rates, um, or the 20 rather, sorry, and the different companies and their rates here. It looks really, really nice. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is custom. This was done by our devs. Uh, and then the call to action, frequently asked questions, and then the annuities guide. So I'm going to push up to this in every annuity page. Uh, for instance, it's going to be that sticky sidebar. I can click on any one of these. This sidebar right here, today's best annuity rates, click for MIGA rates, and you'll jump right back to that. So show Google that this is a very important page, which it is, and it's a way to get leads and what have you. So anyways, we're doing a 1,000 blog posts on this website. So far, we have about 240, 250. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We have a lot of good content. Also building out an AI tool that's going to do many of these processes that I'm speaking of automatically. Should be available soon. And uh, yeah, thanks and I'll see you.